PCs, and welcome back to the Advanced Computers Review Lessons. This is Lesson 3, called More of the Basics. And in this lesson, we're going to learn some of the stuff that you do to make text look cool, and also a couple little tricks here and there. And don't forget, the little extra credit tidbit that'll help you get a couple more points on an upcoming quiz or test. So here we go. Let's write some code, shall we? Okay, so now the first thing we do again is exclamation point. And what do we do? Doc type. And then it's HTML. Very good. And then HTML. HTML. Then we start the head. And in the head we have the title. And we're just going to call this more of the basics. Dot, dot, dot. And then we end the title. And then we end the head. We've done this before, right? We don't have to get all in depth about it. Then we start the body. And inside the body, we're going to say H2. We're not going to do H1. We're going to have a little variety. And here we go. Um, this lesson will show you some basics about text formatting and more how exciting and the h2 okay where are we typing along very good now we're going to start a paragraph and we're going to say in this lesson we'll explore how to make text now we're going to be tricky here because we're actually going to do it we're going to type a b and then we're going to type bold in all caps just to be overly expressive then end the b so now what we just did there is we made the word bold bold by using this b tag so this b means bold and then we end the b all right let's keep going put a period there now, I want to start the next line or the next sentence on a new line. Do you remember how to do that? But I don't want to start a new paragraph. I want it to be just on the line below. That's right, BR. Here we go. We'll also learn how to make text. And then we're going to do I for italics. Very good. Okay, so there's that, and a period. New line, now new paragraph. Remember, if we use the P tag, it will uh, do a line space down and then start the new line. I want these to all be one after the other, no line spaces. What's next after italics? Oh, now this is an interesting one. This is used when you want to put examples of code in a web page. or to, uh, So here, check this out. It says, wheel, adventure into a world where and then we're going to type code and we're going to say coders realm and then we're going to end the code and you'll see what that looks like and then uh, br and then the last oh two more and then also there's and then we type sub, subscript words, or style, and then end the sub. Is that a style, really? I don't know. And then a BR. And there's SUP, superscript style, and then do SUP, and that. And what else have we got to say? We'll do a BR here. And lastly, but not least, there's a thing called the horizontal rule. No, it's not a dance from the 80s. And it looks like this. And then, very simply, uh, do we need a BR? No, let's end the paragraph. Here we go. 
we do this hr how mysterious what does that do i don't know actually i do know and you'll see in a little bit all right so that's the end of our lesson at least as far as the new stuff except for one little trick i'm going to show you in a second so we're going to say a new paragraph that's all for now check out the page what did i do i forgot to put capital c not only is this a computer class but we like to use proper grammar where we at least remember to do so and then we end the p tag and then we end the body and then we end the html now let's look at this page so we're gonna file save as and we go to all files and we're gonna call this lesson three I already named one lesson three but i'm gonna use this one i'm placing the old one and then we'll go to our HTML folder and double click on that bad boy. And this is what it looks like. Oh, get over here. Hello. This lesson will show you some basics about text forwarding and formatting and more. So we have bold here, italics here. This is coder's text. Then we have subscript, superscript. And lastly, but not least, there's a thing called a horizontal rule, and it looks like this. Horizontal. Well, there it is, and goes all the way across. That's good for, like, separating different parts of a page for various clarity reasons. And that's it. Now, here's a little trick, and then we'll do the extra credit. So we're going to go back to our code page for lesson three. And inside the body, we're going to type BG color equals and i'm going to type in quotes the color and eh, let's do red i feel like red today and then file save go back reload oh my gosh it's red okay one more trick yes okay of course i know you're just screaming for another trick we're also going to go in here and type text equals whoop, where's equals hello equals and we'll do something obnoxious so yellow and then we'll file and save and reload. Fire! There you go. So there's our two little tricks for formatting uh, all of the text and all of the background of a particular document. There are more particular ways of doing that for just parts of a page. And we will learn that, but not today. Uh, and then for extra credit, here is some code that allows you to make an image a link boop look at that here's our code as normal this is the page that we're going to go to and instead of having text as the hotspot we just have an image source tag with the name of an image and would you like to see what it looks like of course you would so here we go if we go back to our little HTML folder and we have images a link go there it is. And if I click on this picture, see, it's not a regular cursor. It's an arrow, and it's a hand with the finger. Click on that. And it takes us to allrecipes.com. Do you think I like food? Yes, I do. So there you go. Uh, some formatting of text, some little tidbits, and again, extra credit. You know, collect those. Or it's like having coupons when you go to the store. It's just a, it's a nice little bonus when you check out at the end of the week. Okay, guys, that's it. We'll see you at the next lesson uh, starting next week. Okay, bye-bye.